Turning an ambulance into a camper is sort of strange, I'll admit, but so were the circumstances that led to that decision, considering we were set on buying a new RV just a few short weeks prior. In January of 2021, we spent two days attending the Tampa RV Super Show. We checked out all of the RVs we liked, and we learned of others we hadn't yet considered. We wanted a new fifth wheel camper for around 40-ish grand. We wanted to buy it outright, but when the time came around, the post-pandemic prices were more like 50k and up. We were like, well hell, since that prices us out of paying cash, I guess we'll just finance. So that 40k quickly turned to 70-ish k. But we still don't have a truck. So, write me up. Uh, you got any used ones? <laughs> we were planning to get a nice used dually truck, and I've been looking at Ram 3500s to 5500s that met our criteria, and a good deal could occasionally be had for around 25 to 30k. But by the time we were ready to make a purchase, we could only find worn out fleet trucks near the end of their life for 30 to 35k. So our plan started to make us feel a little more uneasy as we got further along. We were like, okay, I guess we're back in 100k and up territory, just like the boat. So screw it, why not go straight to the top and put a down payment on the Super C? I don't get much better than that, as far as serviceability. We like the idea of being able to tow something heavy and having access to the living area from the cockpit, so this could be it for us. Oh, this is pretty easy to lack. You see these? Oh. Here we are in a dang on super C tubes. Mm-hmm. Double slide. Yeah. While the temptation to pull the plug on a newly used Jayco Seneca was certainly there, I think we both knew we weren't going down that road. Oh, hey. Will from the future here. But yeah, one thing we both knew is that we certainly weren't looking to get ourselves into some serious debt after selling a 28-ton floating money pit that we called home. Um, at the time, we were in the middle of a boat sale, so our plates were pretty full. But not having your next plan figured out, well, that felt kind of empty. Thankfully, our dear friend YouTube was there to help fill that void and recommended a video to us that changed everything. A few weeks after the RV show, I did my first ever Craigslist search and I found the deal of a century waiting for me. I even let it sit for a few days and each time I checked on it, the price got cheaper. It's like it was placed on the universe just for us, but I had to go check it out with my own two eyes to make sure that it was real and it would work for us. So I just drove about three and a half hours to Ocala. I'm about 10 minutes Eight away. One mile. Turn right onto Northwest 44th Avenue. I know she heard me talking. I'm about 10 minutes away from the destination to take a look at a camper. Okay, it's not quite a camper, but it's going to be a camper. So when I get there, you're just gonna to have to use your imagination a little bit, okay?
I mean, what do you think? Should we do it? Do you think this will make a good camper? Let us know, and we'll let you know what we decide. Spoiler alert, we bought it for $3,000. Or he did, at least. I hadn't seen it yet. But I did sign off on the fact that we'd be rescuing a retired ambulance out of an emergency vehicle graveyard and giving it a second life as our RV. I mean, after all, it seemed like a better idea than buying a new RV at this point, especially with the increased prices. So a few weeks later, I got to check it out and see if I still felt that way. If not, it's no big deal. I knew we could just wash the dang thing and sell it for three times what we got it for. So somehow this concept felt way less stressful than financing some fancy big rig, I think. See a wire just hanging, disconnected. This thing is a death trap. Oh, these disconnected wires. Death trap ambulance. Kind of smells like cows in here. Skin of the back better. For last time you couldn't because of the way it was positioned. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's gone after these guys. Oh. We had these same exact systems in some of the cars. How do you like your truck? Does it feel high? Um. It's decently high. I know that, I mean, look at it compared to your car. Right now. We can see the roof. <laughs> and it's, it's only going to get higher, you know. That's true. So which one of y'all was the rear view mirror? This up here, probably? First thoughts. Lower than I expected. <laughs> but still enough room. Barely. I guess it just makes you feel like you got a duck butt. Like. I don't know. My head's touching right now, but I think I had a hair thing on. See? Oh yeah, I also my shoes are also taller right now. Let me flip the camera around so I can see what I've got. This is this is my current situation. But the shoes that I have on are really they're like mountain climbing shoes, so I'm probably gonna take the ceiling off anyways. Yeah, I'm curious how like I wonder if Depending on how long we're here, I might pop a panel down just to see what's just to see what's going on behind it. It's you, an ambulance. Is, it is an That's ambulance. It's beautiful. I'm thinking like, huh, we're supposed to live in this thing, huh? It's about the size I expected. I guess with the initial, I wouldn't, I didn't feel like I didn't think I would feel like I needed to duck, but mm -hmm. um, I think I'll get used to that once yeah. you get used to like knowing you're not gonna hit your head. Yeah, I'm ready to measure, get some measurements about this. It's freaking. Where's the heat at? I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm still just wondering if this is the one that you saw the first time. It is. I, can, I know about it because of the, the front bumper, the number oh, on the front. Okay. Just making sure we got this lame one. Yeah. Because we're already registered. We're already registered. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the other one. <laughs> Yay. Let's stay the night. Yeah. I guess you could camp in it instead of a tent. First round of bleach. <laughs> Is this home security camera? There's one on the outside too. I took the, I like recorded the model of it so that I can like research it, see what it does and don't does. What it don't does. Oh,
see it. I thought you were a cockroach. <laughs> Come and introduce yourself. The cockroach? Yeah. Hi! Flying in from the top. Alright. Did you meet my friend Wasp? <laughs> what about the dead lizard that was somehow rustic? Nice. <laughs> it's a little dirty. It's like the squirrels had a party with the acorn. Kind of ducking under this thing. So a lot of people have said that they gained them some bonus headroom. We don't have any to gain, and that's okay. Pretty damn nice under here. I mean, you know. Hanging out in your for, engine room? For maybe for hanging out, yeah, doing a little bit of stuff. And just the condition. Yeah, that's there's, good. There's oil leaks as far as the eye can see on everything. But that'll get fixed with time. I'd rather have oil leaks than rust. Yeah, definitely. And this drives, I mean. I don't know what I'll need it to be jacked up, but with all the access that I got under here, oh, that's a heavy zombie. No, that's not that bad. I wonder if that could have been done as is. Because it looks like two tanks. Oh, look at all these. Who's in charge? <laughs> Some wonky wiring. Just twisted two wires together, no nothing connecting them. They just Sounds twisted like together. Book. They just over here shaking hands and they could easily come apart. So yeah, that's how that happened. It's crazy how much changed just five weeks after the RV show that we've been anticipating for almost a year. And if you come back next week, you can watch us start to deal with the realities of this new lifestyle we chose as we bring home our new to us emergency camper aka the world's cheapest super c rv the limited edition short wheelbase that has built-in features too that move people out of your way at the push of a button yeah it's no biggie but that's enough of whiff from the future so thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you all next week that's right back from the future see ya